Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure and honor to be invited to attend this very important meeting. The COVID-19 crisis has fundamentally changed many things such as working, shopping, or getting things around, etc., etc. Every turn to how life was at the start of 2020 is some way off. Even when COVID-19 restrictions are eased, coronavirus will affect our life in many ways. Life has moved online with digital dependencies on a scale never seen before. I myself is using online system more than before. We would soon realize that collaboration and cooperation is really important. We need to explore more online tools for effectiveness and efficiency. Yes, thinking for a change is a common good and a very effective in this new normal. I quote John C. Maxwell. Number one, seeing the world beyond our needs and how that leads to great ideas. Secondly, removing mental fatigue and distractions to realize our full potential. Thirdly, stepping out of the box and making breakthrough. Number four, working with others to compile results. Last but not least is looking at the past to gain a better understanding of the future and much more. Ladies and gentlemen, as a medical doctor and public health practitioner myself, I always remember the principle of management and leadership in controlling the epidemic disease such as COVID-19 that we must recall the four pillars of the work. First, it must be technically sound or it must be appropriate technology. Secondly, it must be socially acceptable. And thirdly, it must be financially feasible. Fourthly, it must be collectively enjoyable and get of all stakeholders. In the case of research collaboration, I still remember the suggestions of World Health Organization in the program of leadership development for health for all, which was very important and impressive. It includes, first, clear understanding. Second, commitment. Thirdly, capacity building. Fourthly, it must be capable of making other people to follow. And also, it must be convincing activities for continuation. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that above concept are good to apply for our research and collaboration in the new normal activities for our common future and brighter hope. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I would like to remind ourselves that we not only live in times of unprecedented challenges, but also unparalleled opportunities. 
Identifying collaboration as an essential feature will lead to a sustainable and better collaborative environment. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, Acknowledging collaboration as the new normal does not imply that it necessarily needs to replace long-standing institutions and practice. Rather, collaboration requires organizational and professional boundaries to be maintained. The boundaries may move and shift, but their presence is essential. In conclusion, the idea of collaboration in the new normal allows us to maximize our potential for a better organizational and institutional reform and create a responsible society. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.